Hey, what's up? It's Philip, and uh, let me show you today how to create this uh, frosted glass effect in Unreal Engine 5. The first step is to create our material. So right click and click material, and you can name this frosted material and just double click to open it up. Next step is to make it translucent. So we need to change this blend mode. As you can see, it's opaque. Now just make it uh, translucent and shading model to be unlit. Make sure to save, don't forget to save it. Uh, let's add a spiral blur this scene texture this will give us a blur for our glass so it's not uh, completely visible and see-through and connect this scene color clamp to opacity and now let's add a fresnel node fresnel node is a node that um, control how light reflects from the edges of the glass over here we will add a power node Let's add one scalar perimeter so we can change the strength of this Fresnel node. So hold S and left click. You can see this to be our power. You can always uh, select your power node and change the default value over here like 4 or 5. Let's go with 5. And now just connect it over here. Add one clamp node. And one multiply node. You can hold M and left click. Uh, if you want to learn more about these shortcuts and uh, being faster and better in Unreal Engine 5, you can check out uh, this video, you have a link in the description. So let's connect clamp to multiply. Let's add another scalar perimeter, hold S, left click, and this will be intensity. And connect it over here in the multiply. And change the default intensity to be 0 0.5, 6 or 7. And let me just make this a little bit smaller. And now we need to add one add node like this and move this over here and connect this with A and result for our spiral blur to B and everything goes to emissive color. On the left side you can see that we already have this frosted glass material. Last step is to add some blur control uh, perimeters so S1 perimeter and the second one and connect the first one with the distance and this will be distance steps one will be blur intensity and the second one will be blur quality under the blur intensity type in 0 0.02 and the blur quality to be 50 make sure to hit save and apply and we go to our level we create one add one sphere over here and we will drag and drop the material here and you can see the frosted glass effect but it's not that uh, good we need to right click create material instance drag and drop the material instance because if we open our instance we can see our global scalar parameters values so what we can do we can change it on the fly so blur intensity we can change the blur intensity enable all these values So you can change the frosted glass material effect. This is why we created scalar perimeters in the first place. And this is it. If you find this helpful, let me know in the comments below. Drop some likes and subscribes. And uh, don't forget to check out my other videos on my YouTube channel. And until then, uh, have a nice day. Bye-bye.